Good morning to all traders and welcome to this Monday's market size video provides you by Obex. It's the 30th of November today. It's going to be definitely an interesting week. We have the non farm payrolls, of course, on Friday. What else is going on though is Brexit. So over the weekend, we have had good news despite the fact that last week we talked about talks stalling. Uh, it seems to be a case where, I mean, optimistically speaking, <laughs> Uh, we could see an extended transition only on the uh, stumbling block of the fisheries. Okay, so that would be very good news if, of course, uh, effectuated in the markets. Now, the problem is that um, we are two weeks away from the deadline, so any actual headlines and news, optimistic or pessimistic, are going to affect the pound. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, now, on the US side, we know that uh, Trump really started doubting that the Supreme Court is going to hear uh, his claims for voter fraud. I don't think we're going to hear about that for much longer, and there will be a smooth transition, as he's already also reiterated uh, last week. Now, over on the uh, Asian Pacific side, we've got China and Australia tensions really escalating with China lately. Uh, imposes some tariffs to uh, wine importers but China is really doing well and this is also proven actually was proven this morning with some uh, new releases of manufacturing PMI data and seems to be the one actually that is really recovered gotten out of the COVID uh, post COVID let's say trauma and we're now looking for the uh, Chinese uh, Juan and also of course the index to perhaps increase a little bit higher. We're going to have a quick look on the index, uh, but before I want to start with the US index, uh, because of course this is <clears throat> a more important uh, indicator to look, broader indicator of, of how the economies are actually uh, performing between one another. Um, you recall this wave four and we're expecting a wave five, which is wave primary three, right? Still, I'm expecting that. Uh, ABC up here, indeed, we did see the expanded flat we've been waiting. We called this one and two even last week, right? Now we're heading down for wave three. Uh, well, it could be a case where this is impulse or corrective because um, the structure looks a little bit corrective despite the fact that we're still in impulse three. It seems to suggest to me that we are completing we are going to complete actually five corrections. This is uh, a chance for this to turn into an ending diagonal, okay, in wave, uh, primary wave, uh, excuse me, intermediate wave five and also primary wave three. Okay, so we've had uh, waves A and B done with the uh, over here when in the uh, running flat pattern. If we take wave A and wave B, we go down to 9061. At the same time, this level is also minor wave 1 to minor wave 2 over here, right? So this is a very big confluence level, a very nice cluster just above 90. And it's very possible that we are going to head A, B and C right down here or close to at least before we start correcting a little bit higher. This correction, of course, is going to take us to wave four, then wave five, then we're going to see in the middle wave three, uh, excuse me, five, and then this is going to be three. And then we're expecting a big correction to go to primary wave four, which, by the way, start and building up, okay? Because we start seeing a divergence uh, over here on the RSI. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean we are going to turn now because we still have space to move lower, right? We need, really need to do a fresh lobe. <laughs> at least you know below the uh, minus 0 0.1 momentum on the MACD right now let's go on uh, the S&P quickly uh, two different scenarios here that we looked at a while ago ABC ABC for four and we're expecting an ABC now um, I've called this a B it looks like a triangle ascending because we have a one two three four and we're expecting for wave E okay uh, which means that we can expect prices to go down to 35, 40 or so, and then move higher to 37, 36, or even to 38, 73. Uh, that, of course, would indicate that indeed this is a, um, an ending diagonal as well in this scenario, corrective, similarly to the uh, US index. 
Uh, however, we could see, of course, prices moving higher uh, because really, you know, I mean, <laughs> if we take the tr uh, 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 the trend line, we could really be looking at 4K, okay, as well on this uh, on this uh, opportunity. The other scenario I've been looking and I've uh, talked about for a while is the potential of that being a uh, expanded flat or a running flat, running flat most likely. In either case, expect another move to the upside to around 38.50. This is the 138.2 extension. Uh, for wave B of this potential running flat <clears throat> and then we're going to see prices moving lower before continuing higher as this would be of course uh, still a wave for in the uh, in the cycle degree okay last but not least as we said Chinese index uh, very interesting pattern over here let me go a little bit further out actually I'm going to go down to the, let's go to the four hours if you recall, probably talked about this a month ago, we were down here, I was expecting this to be wave E, which is also, this is A, this is B, and we're expecting C, right? I was expecting E to end, and then we start uh, to start moving higher. This is one, two, three, four, and end in diagonal in five for wave one. We had an immediate two, very short two, rule of alternation in a triangular formation over here. And then I see this as one, two, three, four, and five, which means I'm expecting again an ending diagonal here. I don't know what's happening with ending diagonals, but it might be closer to the end of the year. Who knows? The case. Anyway, um, I'm looking at this to go up to the 1770, uh, 78, okay, 76. Sorry, this is uh, going to be the primary wave one. This is the extension of waves three and four, right? So we take three and four, we'll get to 117. Over uh, now, I think we are at the 78.6. So, I mean, we could turn, but I think we're gonna uh, take this opportunity over here to the 70, 78 to create uh, a, new, uh, a new high. And then we're probably heading for not 20, even higher, the 20K. I'll explain why, because if you well know, the uh, when we break triangles, the distance that we usually, the range that we usually uh, walk, let's say, is from the breakout level at the beginning, right? So uh, if we look at this uh, equality rule, we go to the 2180, okay? So I'm looking at this becoming wave one, then two, three, four, and five, okay? So this will be all for the day. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll speak again tomorrow.